so before our main talk uh, for this session, I just want to briefly introduce why I'm here, <laughs> who I am, and uh, what Sony basically has to offer. Uh, my name is Joe Kamel Vander. I work as a partner engineer and developer advocate for Sony. Uh, in this case, actually, for not so much a developer advocate, but more like sales support for Sony, Sony semiconductors. Um, so let me make a quick poll here, if I can see your hands. I'm not sure. How many here are representing OEMs or hardware makers? Uh, hands up. Yeah, a few of you, at least. You're basically the main people I'm addressing with this short introduction. Uh, what Sony has in this space is uh, called the SED uh, 100A. It was formerly, for, formerly called LMX001. It's uh, one of the lightest, brightest, and most see-through uh, holographic waveguides out there in the market. And why is this important? Well. The space that we're addressing is basically the cases where you don't really need the one pound computers on your head. It's where uh, reality is more important than the information, but the information should still be accessible, should be clear in daylight even, and it could be anything that the system allows, contextual, you could use SLAM in the system and whatsoever. I mean, we don't really care, we just have the display and to showcase what, what kind of things you can do with this, we have invited one of our partners here today, Univet, made a, some great glasses, connecting back to what Mark said earlier about safety in this area and so on. Uh, a lot of companies out there are concerned with uh, safety glasses, um, oil and gas, for example, explosion safety and so on. And Univet have a pair of glasses now that are certified for this, ANSI certified, and uh, I don't remember the European one. I'll let them talk regarding that. Anyway, um, so if you're interested in this component, come talk to us in booth 625. I'll be there most of the time, or one of my colleagues. And our main speaker now is Alberto Albertini from Univet. And we'll start with a video introducing the company. Thank you very much. Venice, one of a kind. A city where art and craft came together as inspired design. Venice was a center of excellence, of trade and commerce, of innovation and of vision. It was here in the Middle Ages that the famed Venetian glassmakers produced some of the first convex reading lenses for the copying of ancient manuscripts. Down the centuries which followed, reading glasses would assist humanity's cultural and scientific development. Over time, they would become the guardians of one of our most precious gifts, the gift of sight. At the beginning of the 18th century, the more enlightened industrialists realized their workers needed some form of eye protection, which resulted in the production of the first rudimentary safety glasses. For decades, the city of Brescia was linked to the Venetian Republic. Fast forward to 1997. And it was here that an engineer by the name of Armando Portesi envisioned eye protection as an intelligent and comfortable choice and not as a disagreeable imposition. He intended to promote the use of protective eyewear to improve safety in the workplace. To achieve his objective, he founded Univet and brought together a dedicated team of researchers and designers to create the X generation an inspired and innovative line of safety glasses. Paolo and his team succeeded in their attempt to reconcile the requirements of impeccable function with those of attractive design without compromising either. 
Today, Univet's faith in the future has solid foundations based on our ongoing drive to improve, regenerate, and innovate. And it is with some pride that we present the first augmented reality safety glasses. Visionar. Visionar is the new benchmark in the field of safety eyewear. The line combines digital innovation and Italian design to manufacturing of the highest standard so as to achieve total protection. It has been quite a journey from the work of those early Venetian glassmakers to our technological marvels of today, and yet those worlds are not as distant as they might appear. Univet shares the vision of those early masters, the vision of a world where cutting-edge technology meets manufacturing expertise of the highest order to create products of which Armando and his son Paolo Portesi can be justifiably proud. Univet. Your eyes, our passion. So please give a hand for Alberto Albertini. Thank you. Thank you, good afternoon to everybody. So this video show you what we are, where we come from, our heritage, our long history, our prestigious tradition, we are happy to carry, and it's our base where we stand on. And in fact, we are, uh, we have been developing safety eyewear for decades, and now we are number one in Italy and among the top players in the world. And this history of craftsmanship became also our innovation and our passion for technology, which is leading us. And then you have seen beauty, art, design. We are the most awarded safety eyewear company in the world, the free red dots, award running, two German design awards, one A design award, one IF design award, one B British Standard Industry Federation award, and one from the Occupational Health and Safety magazine here in the United States. Of course, we are not only looking back, we want to head forward, we want to lead, as, as we, the title of this uh, speech, we want to lead the digital uh, the transformation into the digital innovation. We are looking ahead and uh, we, everybody would like to jump into the future, but nobody would like to do it uh, uh, throwing uh, into a, a black well, into an abyss. Uh, above all, when it comes to technology, when it comes uh, to uh, working tools, we want to be safe. So briefly, I will, introdu I will introduce you to the first uh, uh, augmented reality safety eyewear, because this has been specifically designed, specifically manufactured for the industrial and professional application. We didn't adapt an existing product, we started from scratch and we develop a specific product for the industrial and the professional application. Thank you, Joachim. He already explained the core, the heart of this, the optical engine, but let's talk about the, 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 the application together. So it's a new benchmark in the field of safety eyewear because it's ANCI and EN166 complying with the strictest safety regulation. We know that uh, it's going into a workshop. And uh, so everything has been designed to increase robustness. Even the optical engine that uh, Joachim mentioned before he has an outer cover plate and an inner cover plate to make it uh, suitable for the industrial application. Not only that, uh, of course, we are keeping uh, uh, also the total field of view. The light transmittance is more than 74%. The optical engine itself is 85%. The increased robustness we have already mentioned. We want to keep uh, the operator safe and uh, in, in total visibility. It's uh, the real see-through, it's a real see-through. If compared to other products on the market, you don't, the operator doesn't have to look uh, in strange uh, direction or doesn't, he doesn't have a blind spot which can be dangerous. 
With the visionaire, you, the user can always look in front of him. In this picture, you can see both of his, uh, of his eyes, for example. You can see clearly. So I told you before, we are number one in Italy. We are among the top players. We know what, when it comes to comfort, ergonomics, and fitting. We know that this is a piece of equipment that must be worn for one shift all day long. So it must be uh, weight balanced, must be comfortable. So there is a wraparound polycarbonate lens uh, with side shields. Uh, we have uh, a terminal temples uh, designed for the best uh, fitting and total uh, stability. And of course, the panoramic, uh, uh, the panoramic shape is uh, uh, ideal for the prescription glasses. It's another important feature. These are totally over spectacles. It can be worn over your prescription glasses. More and more people wear them. And so we, and, and this design prevents uh, uh, from overlapping with uh, the existing, uh, with, with your uh, prescription lenses. Let's go in deeper into, into these uh, glasses. Uh, Joachim mentioned the optical engine, the waveguide technology. So it's expressly designed uh, with uh, low resolution and monochromatic monocular because we want no distraction for the operator. We want to overimpose the information to the, to the carrier, but without interfering with his field of vision. So it's uh, monochromatic and, and low resolution. Then uh, what about, let's say, the hardware? There is an interchangeable lens uh, with different gradient of, uh, of shades. Uh, interchangeable means that can be uh, interchanged with each operator, each shift, each application, each department. Has an interchangeable uh, frame and also interchangeable nose pad, uh, which can be adapted to the different mo face morphology. We know there is an Asian fitting, we know there is a West Western fitting. And also there is a foam front uh, support, uh, which can be replaced uh, for a total uh, hygiene. Uh, of course, the electronic equipment, it's not only the, the engine, the optical engine, there is also the inertial measurement unit uh, with the gyroscope, with the accelerometer, with the compass to give the position. There is a status LED, RGB, there is a capacitive touch, and of course, uh, and then there, is a, there are the e expansion interfaces, so the custom connector with the USB and the standard two, uh, I, two, I, I2C, sorry, uh, for uh, the uh, serial communication. In fact, uh, so this is to summarize, uh, on top the expansion interfacing, on top the active feedback uh, RGB LED, inertial measurement unit, the augmented reality optical module and the capacity touch on the side uh, to give uh, instruction. So uh, I was mentioning the, this docking support, this bus communication. You can have it with the USB 2.0 hub. Of course, it's a custom physical connection. And uh, from here, you can add all your, the optional you need. So the light ambient uh, sensor, the barometer, the temperature uh, uh, sensor. Uh, you can have an IR, a smart camera. You can have a VOC, a barometer. I, I mentioned before the gyroscope the accelerometer, the digital, con con the digital compass, GSM, GPS, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, et cetera. Of course, and you have also an I2C serial communication port for the physical connection, for the physical, with the physical connector. Everything, of course, is wired to a control unit. Then we will spend some words about the control unit. It's wired with a magnetic connection for maximum safety and control. And also you have an uh, optimized headband uh, for uh, uh, the best fit of the augmented rea uh, reality glasses. This uh, wire can be thin, shaped, long, as much as you want, so total flexibility. And will be connect and it's connected to a control unit. The control unit is detached from the body, it's on your belt. We want to keep the potentially harmful radio modules away from your head. We don't want to create, uh, of course, heat on, uh, on the glasses. Everything is... Uh, is uh, the, 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 um, the glasses are like a peripheral. So this also to uh, comply with the specific absorption rate uh, uh, um, regulation. And uh, of course you have a long, uh, long battery, long duration battery with uh, the possibility of a hot swap. Also in this case we have designed something which is intended to go on the workshop, on the shop floor. 
and uh, uh, must last at least one, uh, must at least one uh, shift. So um, if we go into the, also here, total flexibility. We can provide the, the complete unit, so you will have uh, our libraries with Linux uh, uh, embedded uh, 4.0.15. You will have uh, our active feedback, uh, uh, the uh, inertial measurement unit with the free axis uh, gyroscope, the free axis accelerometer, the digital compass, the Wi-Fi, the G GSM, the GPS, the Bluetooth, everything integrated, and of course, the remote control unit uh, on your belt with the hot swap and the long duration battery. But having said that, we can also provide only the glasses uh, with uh, your uh, USB connection, with this docking bay, with this bus communication, and of course the active feedback and all the inertia measurement unit, and then you can develop uh, the control unit uh, that you like. Of course, I mentioned Linux, uh, but uh, Android will be available uh, uh, later. So uh, going back to uh, the video that we showed before, you have seen our long history, our heritage, which has given us the beauty, the uh, art, uh, design, uh, craftsmanship that then in the later year, later, latest years turned into a manufacturing renaissance. In Italy, we are facing a manufacturing renaissance and this also thanks uh, we must thank the Americans after the Second World War. We get inspiration and support from, from America, which instead has a long tradition in, in industry, and uh, which is uh, the industry revolution. Nobody else has made industry so developed like in the United States, and you have been the first to invent the uh, safety glasses. So we have tried to combine these two, uh, these two tradition, these two uh, and uh, uh, in, in one, this product, we believe uh, it's the perfect, the ideal combination of, of this. It's uh, the merging of the beauty of design and the convenience of usefulness. So I guess, I hope you are ready for the digital transformation, of course, as long as it, if it is safe. Thank you very much.